the first time I've ever had this was when I believe is when I went to a Taylor Swift concert. And yes, I do love Taylor Swift. <clears throat> and I did go to her concert. And it was amazing. What's up everyone? How's it going? It's your everyday food here. Back with another mukbang. And today, as you can see, we have sandwiches in front of me. And this is from a place called Witch Witch. And so, I kind of wanted to, you know, please both sides of the parties. You know, we got the meat lovers over here, and we've got the veggie more and the vegan lovers right over here. So, what we have on this side is their ultimate BM, BLT, which is essentially bacon, lettuce, tomato. And what they've added on here also is the chipotle mayo and avocado. And then on this side, I just literally just like stack the hell out of this over here. This is their uh, vegan or vegetarian uh, black bean patty sandwich on this side. And for the sake of going completely, you know, like vegan, I made this completely vegan over here. There's no cheese or any um, dairy byproducts or anything in there, no mayo or whatever. So I wanted to, you know, kind of please both sides of the crowds. And, uh, you know, I know I have a lot of viewers that are vegan out there and also vegetarian. Uh, but on the other hand, you know, a lot of people do eat meat too. So here's the best, best of both worlds right here. So let me jump into this one first because this one actually looks a little bit more appetizing than this one. Um, so let's take a look at what's inside this right here. All right, so as you can see, we got that black bean patty in there. You see those black beans. And what I've stuffed it with is we got some spinach, the roasted red uh, roasted red peppers in there. Um, I don't know what else you can see. You can see some maybe jalapenos chilling. Um, and right now, you can't really tell too much, but I did put some Dijon mustard. Uh, what else in there? Garlic, red pepper flakes, um, the crumbs falling everywhere. I'm trying to show you, and uh, grilled onions, and also the straw, like crispy onions. Though they're probably pretty soggy right now because they've, this has been sitting for some time. But anywho, let us try that out. Okay. So, oh yeah. Also, I have some chips in front of me that I got on this on the side not from the place um, one of my favorite that I have is a jalapeno cheddar so let's try this out mmm oh, no that's one thing I don't like about sandwiches is that if you can't tell or if you haven't to told already is that I'm a very uh, just clean eater and eating sandwiches or burgers things that are just super messy <laughs> I just can't handle it but I do love it so I do it anyways so First thoughts on this, I've never had the black bean patty from here before. It's good though. It's a unique flavor. A lot of the black bean patties that I've tried in the past, like, <clears throat> morning, <clears throat> excuse me, Morningstar, um, there's a couple other brands out there that I've tried some from, like, Sam's and Costco, they have, um, a black bean patty, and those are all frozen, um, I assume maybe this might be frozen, it tastes a little more fresh than being frozen, but it has a little more flavor to it, uh, which is really nice. I really enjoy that because all the other black bean patties I've had is pretty much taste all the same, regardless of where you get it from. Mm. 
feels more whole, like more substantial. I'm trying to see what's in it, but everything's all kind of mushed together in there. Yeah, definitely the better of the patties that I've had that are black bean patty ones. But that is one thing. So the one thing that I kind of am like so so about this place is that I don't know if it's just me. But whenever I get stuff from here. These teen things turn really soggy really fast. Still get a nice crispy crust, but the bread inside gets super soggy. Like Quiznos, um, Subway, any other place, like sandwich place I've had. No matter how many dressings I put inside, which is not that much, but... I let it sit for like half a day, whatever. It never gets this soggy. I don't know. I don't know if I mentioned these are the jalapeno cheddar chi chips that I love so much. Literally, I will like demolish a whole bag of these. It's not good. Not good to demolish the whole bag, but these are really good. Look at this. I'm already eating all these chips. I'm not even worrying about this. Okay. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Man. Okay. I'm telling you, these are freaking addicting. I have to like hold myself to not eat these things. My gosh. Okay. So on this side we have the BLT, which stands for breakfast, <laughs> breakfast, bacon, lettuce, tomatoes. And um, I've never actually ever had a BLT before and that's because first of all I didn't know what a BLT was to begin with and then I found out what it was and I was like eh, bacon I don't think that's like substantial to eat in a sandwich but I guess everyone loves it so here's my first try of this uh, let's give you a closer look in and see what's going on in here a lot of lettuce but it looks a little underwhelming honestly I mean, what they say is that it's eight thick cut bacon. And like from the first looks, I'm showing you all you can see is lettuce right now. So if you flip it to the back, you can see some of that bacon. But look at this. It's just like standard as hell looking bacon. There's not thick cut or anything, but maybe it tastes really good. I don't know. I'm not too amused by it. So when I open it up, you can see the bacon a little better in there. But even so, it looks pretty underwhelming. Anyways, let's see what this is all about. Give me a second. I have like <laughs> breadcrumbs in my eye right now. I'll be right back. Whew, okay, we are back. Man, I think I just bit into one of this, the the sandwich, and it, the breadcrumb just, just popped into my eye, and I was just like, oh, maybe it's eyelash. No, that was freaking breadcrumb chilling in my eye. Okay, where were we? Um, all right, this uh, BLT. It's called Ultimate BLT, which has also chipotle mayo, like I mentioned at the beginning, and uh, 
avocado. So that's a little different. So let's give this a try. Sorry, I was actually just counting how many strips of bacon they gave me. And online, or, you know, they advertise eight thick strips of bacon. I only counted five. And this is not a thick strip of bacon. This is your standard bacon that you can buy <clears throat> at the grocery store. And this is why I don't get BLTs. It's pretty dry, to be honest. Bacon isn't all that great. Um, I don't know how they did this or how it's possible, but bacon, all the bacon that I've had, it's naturally fatty and salty feeling. This bacon, is neither fatty feeling or salty. Like, I seriously need more salt on this bacon right now. I don't know, I don't get it. I don't know what is so weird about it. Hmm. Like people say, Everything goes well with bacon. Or anything tastes good with bacon on it. But a sandwich solely made from bacon is just overkill for me. Now, if there's bacon inside a sandwich, then that's good. I do like bacon within my sandwiches or in my burgers, but just alone like this, like being the main substance of ingredient in here, it's pretty whatever, honestly. But, don't get me wrong, this place is pretty good. I do like the idea of it. And um, for those of you that don't know what Witch Witch is, it's a sandwich shop, obviously, as you can see. But what's unique about it is that it is completely customizable, customizable which is really cool because... You have different options. You have beef, chicken, turkey, Italian, vegetarian. Then you have these pre-made ones. But other than that, you can choose your kind of genre, per se. And from there, you can customize it with what you want inside of it. What kind of cheeses you want. What kind of toppings. What kind of dressings. You can put multiple dressings on there. You can put as many um, toppings on there as you want. Um, I think you put up to like two types of cheeses. So it's really cool that you can just completely customize your sandwich if that's something that you like. So in a way, it's kind of like 
kind of like Subway but on steroids, where it's just hella beefed up. You can put as much as you want. You can make it hot. You can have a cold sandwich. A lot more variety. I prefer this over this though. <clears throat> Black bean patty is really tasty. It's got this nice little smoky flavor to it, if that makes sense. Which is really nice. It's just also unique that you'd <clears throat> normally never feel or get that flavor in a like a veggie patty or a black bean patty. So, a little bit of a funny story. I guess it's not a funny story, but... The first time I've ever had this was when, I believe, is when I went to a Taylor Swift concert. And yes, I do love Taylor Swift. <clears throat> and I did go to her concert. And it was amazing. But afterwards, I think it was either before or afterwards. This is the first time that I had it there. And back then when I did go to her concert, there was no other location in Arizona, I don't think, of this place. And from that point, I was like, man, I got to have that sandwich again. So in a way, this kind of brings back memories of that time. <clears throat> now these places are everywhere. We need more chips in here. <clears throat> I'm telling you that <clears throat> used to be full in there. This bag used to be full, and I just got it today too. It's so addicting. Let me stop this real quick. <clears throat> Let me jump back into this one. <clears throat> and try and eat this. Like I said, I'm not that big of a fan of it. And they also like jip me on the amount of bacon. Yeah, I don't know. I was just seeing if they had salt on here. Because I was mentioning how it felt like it was like a lack of salt in here. I thought they had added more salt. Mm. 
Yeah, it's nice, but could be better. <clears throat> I honestly don't think I'm going to finish this all because I'm really not a fan of it. And also, I'm not <clears throat> a fan of tomatoes. Could be as to why I've never actually gotten this. But that's not like, you know, clouding my judgment or anything. I honestly don't feel like it's that great of a sandwich. Hmm. Well, it is what it is, right? I'm having a hard time chewing the bacon, too. If you can't tell. I've had some good bacon before and some very nicely thick cut bacon. I'm just. It's not good bacon and definitely not thick cut. It's a little bit misleading. Like, if you look on their site and look at that sandwich, the reason I got it is I was like. The way they made it look, I mean, obviously, pictures of food online look so much better than they do in person when they make it, but the bacon was nice and, like, crispy looking and waving at that nice crispy wave in there and very, not very thick cut, but thicker cut than this. And, man, I like, I've never had it before, but that picture is making me want it. But, very underwhelming. Not feeling it, but it's okay. It is what it is, right? You live and you learn. And what I've learned today is I'm never getting another BLT ever again. <laughs> so... But I did learn that they have really good black bean patties. So if you are a vegetarian or vegan and they do claim that their black bean patties are vegan, definitely recommend getting that from there. Um, yeah. Also, any other, other sandwiches that I've had there have been pretty good. Uh, just I've never been interested in a BLT. I don't know why there's such rave around it, but... Whatever, I'm not finishing this up. I'm I'm done with that. But anyways, that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, please go down below and smash that thumbs up button. And if you're new to my channel, please also hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it to be notified when I'm posting my next video. And with that, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day and is having a wonderful week. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Peace.